Hey everyone, it's Gaurav from 17th channel. In this video, you already know what I'll be demonstrating today. So after successfully installing the software, I have analyzed that the process of installing is a bit difficult and confusing. So I recommend just follow along with me and you won't face any difficulties while building and installing it. So let's start and build the Qt SCR CPY software. So before starting of the video, just let me show you the app running. Otherwise you will say that, hey, hey Gaurav, why you did not show the application running in the study of the video? So here it is. So as you can see guys, I'm recording with my phone on 60 FPS video. So at the top left corner of this video, you can see it displays the current FPS PS while recording my video uh, so with in the same way you can uh, display your or you can cast your phone here like this so just let minimize this and go to our next steps which is installing our software so here's a instruction list which I have prepared for you guys. So I have put this link in the description so you can download it from there. So it's pretty uh, straightforward video. So just you have to follow all these commands and you will be good with it. So you will not face any kind of problems while uh, installing this software. So while um, uh, performing these steps, I will explain in brief what this step means or what the command means and what it will do so let's get started let me open a terminal here so first step is to uh, clone the project from the github repository and uh, download it in our local system so we will use this first command which will uh, download the project into our system so, so as you can see it's cloning the project from the github meanwhile it's um, downloading so so what are the required files and the dependencies we will need in this video so first one is definitely the project files as we are downloading it the second one is the Qt SDK environment because it's very essential part of this video and third is MESA packages and the last step is to build the software it's almost done so the Qt SDK environment it's very uh, essential part of this uh, process because it contains all the config files which is required uh, while building the Qt SCR CPY software so it's our project files are downloaded so let's see yeah as you can see here this folder is on, on on local system so uh, after uh, downloading the project files the second step is to download the uh, SDK environment so before going to that step just I want to show you guys that in order to uh, install the SDK environment you need to install the AQT software which downloads the SDK environment so it's kind of a hierarchy so I will explain it here now so as you can see here we need PIP which is a software uh, package manager which downloads Python based uh, softwares into our local system so hit it, uh, it's that and after that with the help of PIP we will install the AQT and with the help of AQT we will install the SDK environment which contains all our config files for build process so that's it's very pretty simple so I have already installed the PIP and the AQT but I will show you that I have I'm on my latest versions so PIP version so it says 23.0.1 and the AQT 
and it says 3.1.3 as I mentioned in the instructions files but you can first definitely before installing EQT please definitely update your PIP software package manager and then proceed to the next step so after uh, installing the EQT we will install the SDK environments so so let me show you first the uh, the versions available for a SDK environment okay so let, let me find let me type manually Qt Linux desktop so I will show you the most recommended versions to go ahead with as you can see there's a lot of versions here which ones to choose it's very bit confusing I have tried numerous from this and most of them didn't work so the best one I have found and it works very well which is this version 5.13.0 this is the perfect version to install and go ahead, go ahead with it so let's go ahead and install this version which I mentioned let's use this command to install it so let's install the SDK manage so I think it will take around around five minutes or it mostly depend upon the download speed of the internet so meanwhile I will explain what are the MESA packages so if you are wondering so like MESA packages are like the open source implementation of graphics APIs like OpenGL, Vulkan and so on so if you like to read more about it I have put a link in the description so you can read it from there and that's all and the last step is to build the uh, our software just let wait until it downloads all the Qt SCR config files or you can say the SDK environment files and then we can proceed to the next steps so our SDK environment is ready it's finally downloaded so as you can see in my directory like we have downloaded the current version which I mentioned earlier which is 5.13.0 so the final step is to build the software now just you have to follow me and you will be good while installing your software let me maximize my folder and just follow my instructions so just we have to open this CI folder and just open the folder based on your system because I am running on Linux so I am opening the Linux folder and then just you have to edit this file so as you can see here uh, this is the uh, path we need to edit so this is the path of the SDK environment config files so as you can see this subfolders mentioned here this is the pattern which we need to find and copy the path over here so let me open the, let me open the another, another folder and just go to the the SDK environment config files which we have downloaded just a few seconds ago and then just go to the lib cmake and qt file so these are all the config files and what we need here is just open the terminal and just write pwt so it would give us the parent working directory and then just we need to copy this and as I 
open this file this we need to uh, just update this path with the with the path which we have copied just now so this is the path where it will find all the config files while building the software just save it and then just close this one and just go back to the uh, QTSCSCSCPY folder and just open uh, terminal here because while building a software we need this cmake list dot um, pardon me we need yes cmake list dot txt file and from the instruction files From the instruction file just we need to uh, copy this command and then just execute it and it will start the building process so it will go until 100% and just let wait for it to get executed and build our software Boom. As you can see guys, we have successfully built our QTS CRCPY software on our system. Just let me close the, the version which I have already installed and just let me uh, quit it from here as well. Now let me show you that this is the software which I have installed earlier and this is the folder which I have installed just now just let me go inside it and when our build process finished we get our uh, we get our result in the output folder and this is the software which we just build now let me open it boom this is the result we have executed just let me as you can see i'm recording my video with my phone and i have already enabled my usb debugging with it so just let it's that's why it's uh displaying here just let me open my phone as you can see it's almost past 10 minutes i'm recording and uh, okay i have not enabled the show fps let me select show fps option and run it again boom you can see guys here is the same result which i have shown in the beginning of the video let me close this one and this way you can get the qts CSCPS software on your system as well so this was all about this video like it was a pretty simple and very straightforward video to just uh, follow the commands which I mentioned in the instructions files and you'll be good with it so thank you for watching guys like if you face any problems while installing this software just please mention in the comment section definitely I will try to solve your problems because I'm very excited about this software I will I'm just experiment experimenting with it just I played a uh, few games like Asphalt 9 and Call of, Call of Duty Mobile as well on this one. So this was it for today. Hopefully you liked my video and thanks for watching guys.